Understanding ancient history, an English phrase explained. Hello, English language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, ancient history. This phrase is not just about history books. It's a colorful part of everyday English speech. Whether you're learning English as a second language or just curious about English idioms, this video will help you understand and use ancient history in your conversations. So let's get started. Ancient history literally refers to events that happened in the distant past. The term ancient typically covers the period from the beginning of recorded human history to the early Middle Ages. This can include events like the building of the pyramids in Egypt or the reign of the Roman Empire. However, in everyday English, this phrase takes on a more idiomatic meaning. When people use the phrase ancient history in daily conversation, they are referring to something that happened a long time ago and is no longer relevant or important in the present context. It's often used to dismiss past events or relationships as not worth discussing anymore. For example, if someone brings up a past argument, you might say, oh, that's ancient history, to indicate that it's no longer significant. Let's look at some examples to see how ancient history can be used in sentences. 1. Our disagreement about the project is ancient history. Let's focus on the future. 2. I used to live in New York, but that's ancient history now. I'm all about my life in Chicago. 3. Why are you bringing up his old job? That's ancient history, and he's moved on. Notice how in each instance, the phrase is used to emphasize that the past event has no bearing on the current situation. While ancient history is generally a light-hearted phrase, it's important to use it sensitively. Bringing up someone's past, especially if it's a sensitive topic, and then dismissing it as ancient history can be seen as insensitive. Always consider the context and the feelings of others when using this phrase. And that's a wrap on the phrase, ancient history. We hope this video has shed light on this interesting English idiom. Remember, language is not just about words, but also about how and when they are used. So, go ahead and try using ancient history in your conversations, but remember to do so thoughtfully. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.